Hi guys, tonight I thought I would share with you my nighttime skincare routine. I'm using Roll Deals Glam Tox Kit, as you can see there. And if I just open that for you, you can see inside you get five travel size bottles of goodies for your skin to use. The Glam Tox range is really good, I've heard by the way, so it's a good job I'm using it. And I'm starting with the Glam Tox Cleansing Balm. So before I do this, I always make sure my hair's tied up nothing's in the way so nothing gets in my hair and slip back then we've got a rogue piece of hair there that keeps flopping down not impressed at all and I'm going to roll my sleeves up as well so I don't get anything on my sleeves either so here's a cleansing balm I really like cleansing balms and this one boils skin brightening amino acids to melt away makeup and gently cleanse the skin so I'm just squeezing that out onto my fingers. Kind of wasting time here because I keep looking at it. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> nice shot at the top of my head by the way. And I've gone. And I'm back. So that's the cleanser. I'm just rubbing it into my fingertips. And then I'm going to gently massage it into my face. So you want to get the forehead, the cheeks, the chin, uh, your upper lip, your lower lip and your nose as well. Just gently massage it in to get rid of all those impurities and dirt out of your skin. see now I'm taking quite a bit of time to massage that in everywhere to get all the dirt and impurities out of my face. Wow, I'm really getting into that. <laughs> I do like to take quite a bit of time to rub it into my face as well. I really like having a clean face. Let's see, rubbing it into the nose. So once you've rubbed it completely into your face, uh, I'll go with my hands a wash to get all the balm off my fingers. And I'm going to take a flannel. Ignore the red, it's from my hair dye from when I used to dye it. So I'm going to rinse that flannel under the tap, under warm water. Rinse it out, give it a good squeeze so it's just damp. And I'm going to gently wipe the cleansing balm off my face, making sure I've got every bit of the balm off. pat your face dry with a towel. Never rub because that can cause redness and soreness if you rub too hard so just gently pat it make sure your face is completely dry. So now that my face is dry I'm going to be using the 5 minute facial mask which is a gommage mask. Gommage masks are so simple and really effective. You can see that there, it's a bit blurry. Now I'm reading the instructions again. This is the first time I've used this, so there's still some plastic on the lid. And I'm just going to squeeze that out onto my fingers again. And it came out like um, a white cream, kind of like an, an exfoliator. So there it is. And I'm going to gently rub that into my fingertips and apply it to my face. You want um, a thin 
even layer all over the face, avoiding the eye area because it's a delicate area. So when I've finished applying it, I'm going to let it dry for five minutes. The thing is with gommage masks is, uh, it's kind of a DIY thing. So you apply it, you let it dry, and you gently rub the mask to get the bits of the mask off, basically, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. So I'm just applying that. Every part of my face. I know it doesn't look like much, but you only need a little bit. You don't want to cover your face completely, because it's going to take a while to get off. <laughs> so I'm just gently rubbing it off my nose, off my cheeks, I'll move on to my chin in a moment, to my upper lip, just get it all off. started recently massaging moisturisers into my neck. I think it's quite an important part to moisturise as you're getting older. You don't want saggy turkey neck, do you really? <laughs> so I'll gain it into my neck. 
at this point it does smell absolutely beautiful as well. It's a gorgeous smell and the formula feels so lovely on the skin. So I'll just keep rubbing that in until it's completely absorbed and your skin feels drier than it should. See? And next I'm moving away from Rodeol and using Gatineau's Oil Cream. which is good. So I've started using oil creams now. I'm heading towards 30. Dum dum dum. So it's just to keep them looking bright and youthful. So I'm just putting a tiny bit on underneath both oils. Basically I'm just going to start gently pressing the cream around my oils, gently tapping. contours my eyes is it? Uh, just letting it absorb into my eyes. I have not so started getting a few crow's feet from where I laughed too much so that's all good. And lastly I'm applying Rodeo's Glam Balm to my lips which is a really small tube but you don't need a lot really. So that's to condition them overnight. I mean it's important to keep your lips soft and hydrated in the harsh winter months to prevent chapping and soreness so just pushing the product out there and just applying to my lips as you would with any other lip balm skincare routine done and I'm off to get some beauty sleep so I'll see you very soon thanks very much for watching links are below to follow, follow me on various social media websites and you can scroll, subscribe at the top of the video